In this video, I will be explaining to you the concept of separating periods. Now, let's take a number. This could be anything. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Or rather, not 10, there's 10. Okay, 1. Okay, and then 0. Now, based on our previous lecture, I explained to you that, you know, these, each of these figures or digit represent a particular place. So, let's say 0 represent 1's, 1 represent 10, this represents 100's, let me just clear it, okay. This represents 1000, this is 10,000, okay, this represents lakh, 10 lakh, crore, 10 crore, okay, and let me not confuse you with this one. Right? Now, under the Hindu Arabic system, these brackets, okay, or these set of numbers, as I might call them, are known as periods. So, 0, 1, and 9, okay, which is what? 1s plus 10s plus 100 is one period, right? Then 1000 and 10,000 is basically another period which is known as thousands. 1 lakh and 10 lakh is another period which is known as lakhs. And then 1 crore and 10 crore is another period known as crores. Okay? And you add a comma after each of these periods. So what does that mean? Basically, when you write 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 0, you would be putting commas after each of these periods. So if you have to write this particular number, you need to add commas. So 100, 10 and 1 is one period, so you add a comma here. Thousands is one period, so you add a comma here. Lakhs is one period, so you add another comma here. And just because we, there's nothing really before crores, so we're kind of not putting anything over here. In a nutshell, each of the period has to be separated from the others by means of a comma. Okay? Let's take one example. So let's say you were given number 4672391. Okay? And you are asked to write this number by separating periods. Now in order to do this exercise, what you can do is, you can kind of start counting from the extreme right moving towards the left. So from the extreme right you have ones, you have tens, you have hundreds. So this is one period, so you can write this as 191 and you write a comma here. Right? Similarly, 3 and 2 represents 1 and 10,000 respectively. So 23 is another period. You write 23 here and put in a comma. Again, 7 represents 1 lakh, 6 represents 10 lakh, but these both represent lakh. So this is another period. You write 6, 7, put in a comma here. And the last one basically is the crores. So you have written a particular number by separating periods by means of this. Right? Right? 